Well, hello there. <laughs> Before we start this video, I just want to say I am out of breath. <laughs> I am excited. I just got off work and I ate a giant sandwich on the way home. <laughs> so I'm, I'm having issues like freaking breathing because I just ran around the house like excited about this and letting the dogs in and out and just, <sighs> you might hear me labored breathing. <laughs> I don't know what to tell you. <laughs> it's just most of the time I try to check it. I don't want to breathe too heavy on camera. <laughs> anyway, about a year ago, I made a life changing, <laughs> I didn't realize it at the time, a life changing decision to switch to barefoot shoes. I thought at the time it'd be good for my health, might help me fix my posture as far as with my knee and my foot. And, well, I'll, I'll make a video talking about that later, but I ended up it didn't just become a health thing. It became a life-changing thing. My feet are so wide, I cannot fit normal shoes anymore. Even my extra wide, or my extra wide, my wide Vans, I can't put them on. I can't wear them. Uh, my old Nikes, I throw them away. I cannot get my foot in them. Um, my feet are super wide. I have gaps between all of my toes now. <laughs> and... It, it was a good health decision, I will say that, but damn, like, it it just, there's no one making good quality, and I'm talking, like, blue-collar level barefoot shoes. <laughs> so I'm buying all these, like, barefoot shoe brands, but I have to buy them new ones here and there every now and then, and uh, just to make sure I don't wear the ones that I have out, and I can keep rotating them, and... <sighs> So that's one reason why I never invested in a pair of work boots that were barefoot shaped. For the last six, seven, eight months, however long since I switched my career over to blue collar work, I've been wearing a half a size too big Dewalt steel toe boot. And um, let me tell you, <laughs> I've lost toenails. I have almost fractured a toe. I have just, I have really put myself through a lot to get through the work day. My feet are too big for these boots. And uh, uh, it was about a week ago, I came home, I told my wife and she said, just buy whatever you can. Problem was, <laughs> I knew about Vivo, I knew about all these other brands, but it's like, shit, dude, come on. Th those aren't gonna fucking last. And, and I'm sitting there looking at the design and they they talk about this uh, save the environment stuff so you know they're not using like good leather you know <laughs> like, i need leather like i step in water all day long i need leather <laughs> i need that um i need a real pair of boots but i also need barefoot boots like i i need a balance between them i got to looking that night and i found these i've been waiting so freaking long <laughs> for the, it's been a week since i ordered them and man they just came in so well that was anti-climatic did i pronounce that correctly <laughs> so before we even so this brand it's called barefoot but like not bear like b-a-r-e it's b-e-a-r like the bear foot cool right <laughs> and they have a pair of boots that's in here and man first off first impressions of the packaging i just cut it open or i tried to <laughs> i like the packaging i like the bear claws i like the simplicity of the colors and i like i i like it you get a you get for presentation before even opening the box you you get a good grade you obviously, you all know this channel is too small to have sponsors, so chill. It's not a paid review, obviously. Okay, does that have my address on it? Yes, it does. Let's move that. <laughs> does it say something cool, though? $262 is how much these boots cost. That's $162 more than the Dewalds that I have on now. So that's a considerable increase in price. So at the very least, I expect to keep all of my toenails after a year of wearing these. <laughs> all right. All right. So, okay, cool. Right out the gate. This is on top. It tells you how to clean them properly, how to treat them with beeswax properly. Even recommends a couple brands. Cool. So 
first off i've never gotten something like that in a package boots that's cool oh it came with a sticker ha <laughs> ha i'm gonna put that on my work helmet so they come wrapped up in this thing first impressions holy shit when i saw the sole the bottom of the sole i'm gonna go ahead and just throw this down i looked at it and i said now how in the hell is that gonna have any traction so that was the only thing I, I was, I've been worried about. And now that I see it, I realize that that's deep. That's pretty deep. It goes in different directions. I'm going to test it, but I think, oh God, that feels good. I think this is going to hold up real well. Look at the toe box on that bad boy. <laughs> All right. And of course, it is a zero drop sole. And of course, if my employer is watching, they are 100% steel toe, okay? <laughs> this size is 11 and a half, the size that I got. I like the colors. I like the green laces in it. I know I sound like a woman right now. You can make fun of me in the comments section. That's fine. <laughs> I, I'm just, I'm so hopeful that these will hold up. So, triple stitched right across that. It looks like everything is triple stitched. Well, that's not, that's double, which is fine. It has a single right there, but that's just a small part of it. Okay, cool. First off, I can feel the leather. It feels really nice, really good to go. Damn. All right, guys. I guess this is it, huh? $262. <laughs> Look at that. Now let's go ahead. I'm going to take, I just got off work. I haven't even took my boots off yet. So let me take off this D Walt. I have to untie it real quick. Take it just a second. So we're going to put them side by side and we're going to freaking uh, compare. <laughs> we are going to compare just how wide. And these are 11 and a half. I'm wearing a 12 right now because I need I need as much room as I can get. This is the Dewalt. Real leather. I treat it with beeswax. Um, takes a while to clean it up, so I can freaking treat it. But you can see where I treated it. <laughs> the, my pants come down and cover that up. So this has been treated a few times. Does pretty good. One thing I don't like about the Dewalt, they have this mesh on the inside. <laughs> But look at that versus this. No fucking comparison. <laughs> All right. So this is part one of testing these out. Do they also kind of, well, they have a little bit, and I need that, by the way. They have a little bit more resistance to them and bending up and stuff. Um than most barefoot shoes. Most barefoot shoes, you can literally grab them and just roll them. But anyway, I need that though. Like seriously, I do. And the reason I do need that is very clear, very simple. <laughs> I don't want to step on something and it goes, like I'm, I work in dangerous locations. Like you can step on anything. So cool. <laughs> so it's like the best of both worlds that you can get. This is part one. This is the impression, unboxing. I know you didn't get to see the unboxing. This is about me, not you. And <laughs> um, I'm gonna test these for like six months. And then I'm gonna make a video. I'll bookmark today. We'll make a video in six months testing these out. Uh, well, not testing them out. They'll be tested from now till then, but uh, talking about what I think about them, how I feel about them and so forth and so on. And will they hold up? I work in some weird stuff. AC oil, tack oil, any type of oil, diesel. Like, I get it all over me. I freaking step in giant puddles of water, some of which go... Look, a, a boot's going to get defeated at some point, but I step on stuff that's really sharp. I do things I shouldn't do all the freaking time. Will these hold up? 
not only in my work life, but also in my personal life. I'm aware of these. I'm aware of these every day. <laughs> cool. Will you hold up? For the price, you better. This is uh, the most expensive shoe I have ever gotten. And not only that, it's hopefully the answer to my major problem. Like I said, I've lost toenails. I have almost fractured a freaking toe. I'm not joking. It, it's just time for a real good pair of boots that will actually treat me well and I won't mind wearing. So that's the end of this video. Thank you for watching. Stay tuned. Six months from now, a real no bullshit review. We're going to find out. Will these hold up? I'm not going to be like malicious with them. I don't have that type of money, but I am going to go through everyday life with them. So I will see you guys later. Have a good one. Bye.